Okay, so the most common application of CSS properties, those are the things on the right-hand side of a CSS entry in the curly braces, the most common application is to designate colors and fonts. The second most common application is to designate spacing. And HTML block level elements like P and H1 have four pieces. The margin, the border, the padding, and the main content. The main content and the border can have colors and spaces. The margin and the padding can just have spaces. So you've got the main content. This is the text of the paragraph. Padding is the space between the main content and the border, if any. Border is the thing around the padding, and it can not only have a space, but it can also have a color. And then margin is the space between the border and the rest of the HTML page. So for margin, you can specify the margin as a whole. This would be a size unit, not a color. And that if you just say margin, it means the left, the right, the top, and the bottom are all the same. If you want it to be different, you can specify them individually with margin left, margin right, margin top, and margin bottom. So margin is basically a shortcut for saying margin left, margin right, margin top, margin bottom all at once. Borders can have both spaces and colors. So you can give border for left, right, top, bottom all at once, or you can specify individual pieces just like you did with margin. And then the same thing for padding, but padding's margin and padding don't have colors, border has colors. And then for the stuff inside, you can specify a width and a height if you don't want it to kind of resize with the page. Most common is not to give a width or a height and let the content resize with the page.